so often people ask me how do you take your measurements because i have to, tried to make maybe the cheerleader skirt or i've tried to make this bralette but it always comes out when it's either large or too small i'm here to explain because i do tutorials or people go like on youtube to follow tutorials and they end up making maybe a piece too large or too small because they're not following measurements please please consider your measuring tape on every tutorial you're following take your measurements don't follow exactly what the person who is elaborating is saying because i may say okay i'm going to chain 20 probably let me say for my shoulders but you may not be 20 so try to consider your measuring don't follow exactly what someone the youtuber is explaining so i'm going to begin with the bralette when i'm taking when i'm making my bralettes i don't know like for example this this cup make sure you are able to see I get my measuring tape I measure all the way from down my breast to my nipple which is three inches from my breast from the base of my breast to the nipple is three inches that means I'm going to make a chain that is worth three inches that's where my center is going to begin from you see like it's where the first loop is going to begin from where i do the chain two skip one chain two and then this end from the end of my breast to the center is four inches but sometimes i like it sexy so i don't really follow up that what i do i usually make six to seven for small or six to eight small and medium but usually six to seven for small and then seven to eight or seven to nine rows of double crochets for medium and then nine to ten or eleven twelve depending on someone's cup size it's what determines the rows i you don't have to do exactly what i am doing in my tutorial you have to make sure you know your measurements so that's what i do for the bra cup like you can see so when you're taking measurements for your skirt you need to consider your hips or even the bottom skirt and bottom usually consider the same measurements there is this bottom which i have a tutorial on my youtube channel and i have a cheerleader skirt for example for the cheerleader skirt it has a string so it can be adjusted and it can be expanded like right? because i have a string in it so when i'm making measurements for this skirt i'm just going to consider the hip measurement this is the only measurement i am going to consider so it is 37 inches 37 inches when i'm making my waistband if the yarn is stretchy like i've already explained to you some yarn is more stretchy I'm going to, to subtract like five, five inches, like four to five inches to make sure that I leave room for it to stretch up to 37 inches. So that's how I take the measurements, unless I'm going to use a zipper. So there, I really try to consider all but you have to make sure you try to understand the yarn type you're using, if it's stretchy, if it's not stretchy, so that you're able to get a perfect fitting for your outfit. And then the hook sizes, you have to know that different hook sizes bring out pieces differently. There are pieces where I use 
bigger hook sizes just because I feel like I want it a bit saggy. It's that sagginess that is going to bring out the piece really good. So I do that. I, I end up using a bigger hook. Let me say, if I want this more saggy and the yarn is thin, I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter hook. This is 3.5, I don't know, the light is strong. Instead of a 2.5 millimeter hook. And if I want it really, really tight, so I'm going to opt for a 2.5 millimeter hook, a smaller hook, because I want the tension. The tension is different, so I want it tighter or I want it loose. I'm taking measurements for full, like a closed cardigan, let me say it's a sweater, choker or something. The measurements I consider are shoulders, then from my arm to the wrist, then I consider my my like chest measurements and that depends if I want it baggy or not baggy but otherwise I, that's how I do my measurements. I don't know if I'm being clear, but if I'm not being clear, please, please, please ask me anything in below the comments and I'm going to get to you. I'm going to answer anything that you want to know. But I just wanted to bring out the fact that try to know the yarn type that you're using. It could be stretchy or not also try to consider measurements every time you're doing making your pieces and again don't just follow the measurements of someone in the tutorial because you may end up making a piece that is not your size so another thing is about pricing my products when i'm pricing my products i have a lot of things i consider that is the material how much i've purchased the material i consider the time i'm investing in i consider the brains that is coming up with everything i know my crocheters you know this there is where you can sit and you crochet something midway you have a mistake and you have to open everything so that is not put out there we always put the final product so someone doesn't see what you've gone through so we put all that in consideration that's why i'm going to feel like maybe my cheerleader skirt i'm going to charge it 50 dollars or 60 dollars and another person is going to be like no mine is worth 80 dollars and another one is going to be like mine is worth 30 dollars so everyone's pricing is perfect it's not a problem but it's up to you to see what works for you people have asked me how do i grow my channel or how do i grow my my ig page but the real truth is i don't do anything much i just first of all i love to crochet because it's a passion so i do what comes in mind i do what i feel like oh what if i made this card how will it look like or wow i love i am inspired by so many things i'm inspired by nature i can just be take a walk maybe by the beach and i'm like hmm if i had a beach skirt made like this like that it would look really nice with the sand and all i consider a lot of things i consider the surrounding I consider new trends. I am going to see maybe Schemes has posted some two piece bikini and I'm like, ooh, I like that. I wonder how it will look like when I use if I'm to use yarn. So my creativity comes not from so far but from everything that surrounds me. Sometimes I just let the mind take its way. I can start a piece and i'm like okay let me make a bottom and by the time i finish it's a skirt or by the time i finish it's a dress because i just let everything work on themselves but when i see okay i love the final piece then i'm forced to now focus redo the piece try to note down a few corrections or additions so 
that's how I do my work. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for being patient with me. Love you.